Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. Good morning, good morning everyone. We are ready to roll. Just finished my pre-trip and uh, there we go. We are still in near on center Ontario where we spent the night. a very nice visit here yesterday with a, a subscriber of mine goes by the name of 42 Northside he brought his uh, friend along and uh, we had a very nice uh, nice meeting it was very nice meeting them up here you know I really love meeting up with uh, subscribers of mine, you know, that's, you know, you finally get to know the people that are watching your videos and they get to know you and that is super cool, you know. And I think it's important for your channel, if you have a channel, YouTube channel to, uh, to take the time, meet up with some people, you know, get to know them and they get to know you and uh, it makes it more real you know it's not just always in front of the screen and they have absolutely no clue what you are all about or what you know or whoever you are anyways it's a gorgeous day out here isn't it guys I think so there's still a little bit snow up there in the bushes, but hey, we got sunshine! Yeah! I'm loving it! We're going to have ourselves a great day, I believe so. Yep. So let's get down the road and have some fun. Well guys, we are here in South St. Marie at the Volvo dealer. And uh, the Volvo dealer in Toronto didn't give me the right piece to fix. I'm still having issues with that pipe that I showed you guys that I glued in there. I still wanted to get me the right piece that goes in there, right? As I told you guys, that was just a temporarily fix. And uh, the Volvo in uh, Mississauga, Ontario, they didn't give me the right piece. So that one didn't work. So. I stopped in here at this Volvo dealer and we found ourselves a piece that works. Now it is not the exact same piece as what was in there, but it's got the same thread and it, uh, it works. I put some sealant in there so that uh, it's going to be sealed, the air is not going to come out. And we are back in business. Because yesterday I tried to put that other piece in there and uh, that didn't work. So luckily I hadn't cut the hose off all the way. So I was able to connect the hose again together again. And I was able to make it work. But and all this this uh, when I stopped up here at the truck stop I heard it was uh, leaking air. So then I knew I had to do something, so stopped in here and we got her done. We got her done. That's all that matters. And I fixed it myself. I didn't hire no mechanic. Three dollars and eighty-nine cents piece. Yeah, that's what it cost me. That's the only thing that cost me. I still have that other fifteen dollars and eighty-four cent piece here, but uh, that ain't no good to me. So 
But whenever I get back to Toronto within 30 days, if that's going to happen, then I'm going to return that piece. Because uh, they have a 30 day return policy. And I asked the wool dealer up here if I could return it here, and they said no. Got to go back to the same place I purchased it, so oh well. Luckily, it's not crazy amount of money, so even if I don't get back within 30 days, $15.84 ain't gonna kill me, but kinda sucks though that they didn't have the right piece, that they didn't give me the right piece. But, eh, that happens. Anyways, we are back in business and I am excited about it. Yes! I am super excited. I finally got it fixed. Now I don't have to worry about it. Because we put some sealant around the thread. So that way no air can come out or nothing can go into the compressor either so we're in business yeah nice and sunny too my wife said it was crazy windy back at home they were saying uh, wind warning up there between 60 and 90 kilometers an hour so 60 kilometers an hour is about 37 38 miles an hour and 90 kilometers an hour is about 57 miles per hour so that's how fast the wind is supposed to be gusting today back at home so i hope everybody is going to be safe at home i'm heading that direction too but i won't get there till tomorrow so hopefully that wind will be gone by the time i get there Anyways, we're having ourselves a great day, especially since we managed to fix it. What we came to do in the first place, yeah! So that's have ourselves some fun down here on the road, make some money. Alrighty guys, we are coming into Nipigon, Ontario. And I think this is where I'm going to call it a day. Hi, oh, yeah. I am tired. I think I'm just gonna go pull over here. But you know what I'm going to do over here? Is I'm going to go in here to Tim Hortons. I'm gonna have me a good cup of coffee, of Tim Hortons coffee. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do, I'm sure. As long as there's parking up here, I'll be parking in here and I'll grab me a good cup of coffee. And it looks like I will be lucky today. Looks like I got a parking spot right up there. Yeah, let's see if we have good luck. I think so. I think so. I think we're going to go right between these trucks, right here. Yep. That's my plan anyways. See if that will work. Yeah, that, I think that should work. Yep. I think we can make it work. Let's see. Hell yeah. No problemo. Yep. Sometimes I'm good with backing in, but other times, uh, you know, just seems like I can't back worth a shit. <laughs> well, that's the way it goes. Some days better than others, right? I think that's pretty much everybody. Some days you have no problem backing into summer and next day it just seems like you gotta back try and back in like five times before you get in you know anyways we are in the hole yeah so let's go have ourselves a good cup of coffee fill out the logbook we got here and then we'll go grab ourselves a good cup of coffee so we'll be back alrighty guys I am done for today just finished editing up one video here and uh, probably gonna put up another one or render another one here for today 
And then uh, I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a stop at home tomorrow. And then at least I can go and uh, upload these videos, you know, for you guys when I'm at home. But we had ourselves a nice cup of coffee over here at the Tim Hortons. Yeah, I like the Tim Hortons coffee, man. That's definitely a good thing. Anyways, we are ready to go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, don't forget to rate it up, share. Yeah. If you really like it, subscribe. And you'll see more interesting videos coming up. We have changed our uh, scheduling time. If you guys haven't noticed, my videos will be up at 2 a.m. Central Time from now on. Yep. I figured I would go ahead and change it, especially for those that are in Newfoundland or up in that area. They're about two hours ahead of us. I figured if I put it at 2 o'clock, that's 4 o'clock, I guess, their time. And that way it's up there for them to watch in the morning when they get up and they want to watch me. Before they go to work, they will have that chance. Because until now it was 5 central time. So it was actually 7 o'clock their time already when my video is up. So then they got to wait or maybe they're not even going to watch my video, you know. So I figured I would change the time on it and uh, that's about all I got today. So thank you guys for watching and we shall see you again tomorrow.